So you're broke, but you want to be a photographer, or maybe a videographer. Well, the good news is that you're not alone. Most people who have dreams just can't afford them. The great news is that we found free creative tools for you that don't cost a thing. For most photographers and videographers, Adobe products are what they live and swear by. There's a good reason for this. Most Adobe products are awesome. Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere Pro are loaded with features. Uh, they're easy to start using, and they're largely regarded as industry standards, meaning that if you're collaborating with other creators or working with a studio of some sort, uh, they're probably going to be using an Adobe product, and it's going to be easier to work together. That said, Adobe products cost money. How much money? Well, that's not a fun question to answer, and it's a whole lot less fun to answer if you live in Australia. What is a fun question to answer, however, is how can I replace my Adobe products for free? If you're a broke photographer or videographer, here are three fantastic alternatives to Adobe products. Number one, raw therapy. As a replacement to Adobe Lightroom, Lightroom, in case you haven't heard of it, is the bread and butter program for most modern photographers. It's where they dump their raw images right after a shoot in order to sort them. It's where they do the bulk of their editing. I'm talking about correcting the colors of an image, making black and white versions, which is a bit more complex than just desaturating a picture, and creating presets. Unfortunately, Lightroom costs money. What's a broke photographer to do? Say hello to raw therapy. For the low, low price of nothing, you can edit raw images from most cameras, adjust for lens distortion and vignetting, change your white balance, sort and rate your images. It does a lot. Does it do everything that Lightroom does? Put simply, no. Lightroom is a commercial product with millions of dollars of development behind it that's constantly getting updated with new features. Raw Therapy, meanwhile, is an open source passion project being developed for free. That said, raw therapy can do most of the things you'll need to do with your pictures. For most photographers, it's a great alternative to Lightroom. Raw therapy can be downloaded from rawtherapy.com and is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Number two, GIMP, as a replacement to Adobe Photoshop. The new image manipulation program, or GIMP, is the best known free and open source image editor, and for good reason. It's incredibly powerful. Much like the aforementioned raw therapy, it's not going to be doing everything that the Adobe product does. The fancy extra features that Adobe offers with their fully-fledged Photoshop simply aren't available for free in GIMP, but don't let that stop you from using the software. If you want to crop and work with layers and beautify, liquefy, retouch, and here's the rub, with a surprisingly lightweight program, you've got to check out GIMP. Much like with raw therapy, it does most of what Photoshop does, but most of what you'd be doing in Photoshop, you can do with GIMP. And here's the rub, with a surprisingly lightweight program, you've got to check out GIMP. Much like with raw therapy, it doesn't do most of what Photoshop does, but most of what you'd be doing in Photoshop, you can do with GIMP. Maybe you're just getting into photography and you're wondering, what's the big difference between a program like Raw Therapy and GIMP? Well, the short of it is that each program is meant for somewhat different sorts of editing. Raw Therapy is meant for processing a lot of pictures quickly, adjusting such things as image brightness, color temperature, etc., contributing to the overall look and feel of an image. Plus, it's a raw editor, meaning that you'll largely be using it to take your pictures from massive RAWs to more hard drive friendly JPEGs. GIMP, on the other hand, is for some of the deeper editing. Maybe you need to edit a person out of or into a picture. Maybe you need to eliminate a background or you want to do something super artsy and cool with a picture or do some graphic design work. That's where GIMP comes in. GIMP can be downloaded from GIMP.org and is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Number three, DaVinci Resolve as a replacement to Adobe Premiere Pro. Unlike the other replacements on this list, DaVinci Resolve is actually a commercial program, but it has a version that's available for free that does most of what Premiere Pro does, and more. 
that's right folks, when you download resolve, you're not actually compromising on anything this fully featured video editing program allows you to do a lot of things. Once you've imported your video, you can do the basics. Sure, you can cut it as you see fit, add transitions, titles, etc. But you can also use it for keying. If you don't know what that is, think green screen Hollywood magic. Yeah. Image stabilization? It's there. Want to do some color correction on your image? Surprise! There's a fully-fledged color correction suite within Resolve, plus some VFX plugins. It basically combines multiple programs into one incredible package. You can edit your audio in ways that Premiere Pro just can't match right now. There's support for exporting your final work in a variety of formats, and frankly, I'm shocked all of this is available for free. How, you ask? Well, there is a more advanced version of Resolve that costs money, but it's really meant for people running movie studios who need multiple editors collaborating on a single project. Frankly, I think this business model is brilliant. Let individuals learn and use your program for free, and let businesses pay for it. This way, those individuals get trained on the program, and when they head for work, where the tools are in use, they're versed in using them. How does Resolve stack up to Premiere Pro? Honestly, I think it's better. While I do think that Premiere has a user interface that's easier to use, and a lot of features that are more intuitively placed, Resolve's incredible bevy of free features just blows Adobe's offering clear out of water. DaVinci Resolve can be downloaded from blackmagicdesign.com. Yes, that's the same company behind the fantastic and competitively priced line of cinema cameras. And it's available for Mac and Windows. And Linux. Linux users so often get the short end of a stick when it comes to video editing software. It's nice to see that the incredibly powerful and free Resolve is available for the platform. Those are free, great programs that you can get for free that offer functions that are absolutely essential for most digital photography and videography work in this day and age. What do you think? Are there other great free programs that you think we missed and need to be covered? Have you made some cool art with the aforementioned programs that you would like to share? Do you think that next time we should focus on tools for mobile platforms, that is Android and iOS? Whatever you think, be sure to hit us up on Twitter and Instagram at PhotoChan with two N's, and be sure to tell your friends.